everybody. Today is Saturday. I'm a little crusty. I have been cleaning the house all day. I got laundry going. Logan's running around in her diaper watching Frozen. I got a sink full of dirty dishes. You know, mom life. It's a real thing. But in the midst of all the mom life chaos, I still need to eat. Last night I had Chipotle and I only ate a quarter of my burrito bowl, so I thought it would be really fun to try to make something new out of my leftovers. So we're going to make some flautas using my leftover Chipotle burrito bowl. This is barbacoa and it smells so good. And I'm not going to lie, I've never done this before using my leftovers. However, I thought about it. The concept makes sense. Okay, it should work. Normally when I make this with shredded chicken, I cook the chicken up, shred it up, and then I take a pan, make it nice and warm, I add in sour cream, uh, salsa, cheese, chicken, sometimes beans, whatever I want inside the flauta, I warm it up in a pan and mix it all together until it's a nice concoction. So that is what I'm going to do with my leftover burrito bowl. Um, it already has a little bit of sour cream and cheese in there, but I'm going to add a little more sour cream probably and maybe some more salsa, maybe cheese. I don't know. We're just going to feel it out. So once that mixture looks like it's ready to go, all kind of melted together, you're going to want to get your tortillas ready on a pan. You're going to lay your tortillas out and spoon the mixture into the tortillas, wrap them up, put a little butter on them, and then put those in the oven. And that's it. Got some butter in there, some butter. I have my heat on pretty low because I don't want anything to burn in here. I just want to warm it all up and get it nice and creamy. So I added a dollop of sour cream. I added a little bit of the hot salsa from Chipotle um, just to give it some more oomph. I think I'm going to add some shredded cheese pretty creamy, it's soft, and it's all warmed up. So now I'm gonna get my tortillas ready and pop this mixture in the tortillas to put them in the oven. Well, that made six pretty... One leftover burrito bowl. Now, granted, I only ate like a quarter of it, but it made six of these chimichangas or flautas, whatever you want to call them. They're pretty big. Um, so I'm going to now put a little bit of butter on the outsides of them. Not 100% necessary. And then I'm going to pop them in the oven. I don't know, for like 10 minutes. We'll see. Mom. Is that a cow? It is a bear bear. It's a bear bear. <laughs> okay, my timer just went off. But, I mean, they're crisping up a little bit. I think I want to leave them in for like maybe three more minutes. I'm only leaving them in there a little longer because I just want the tortillas to be nice and crispy with a little bit, like a nice little tan on them, you know? And life hack, if you ever have chips that are stale, no matter if it's a Dorito, if it's a tortilla chip, Get your air fryer out, pop those bad boys in there. You have brand new chips. They are no longer stale. Don't throw away your stale chips. Just put them in the air fryer. You're welcome. And while that is cooking away, I actually have some really ripe avocados I need to use. So I just cut one up, make a little bit of easy guacamole. They would charge you a dollar for that at Chipotle. I'm just saying. Ew. They look good, y'all. Let's see what it tastes like. Can you see the steam? Mmm. Tastes like a chimichanga. I'm gonna put some guac, some sour cream, some salsa. This tastes like a chimichanga. Oh my god. That was good. Obviously, if you put lettuce in this, wouldn't be great. Honestly, this is genius. It's so good. I highly recommend it. I'm a person that usually has leftovers, but I don't enjoy eating them because it's just not the same. But this is even better than the burrito bowl. Like, to me, this is so, so good. And even if I didn't have leftovers, like, if I went and bought one burrito bowl, that would make so many of these mini chimichangas if I just came home and made a meal for like the family 
we might have we might have thought of something here thank you so much for sticking around and watching this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe i post a new video every sunday and every wednesday and leave your comment down below letting me know if you're going to try this out with your leftovers and then also tell me if you're going to do anything different to it what you're going to do because i might want to try that out too Ooh, with the 